Uh, spring ball. Moving on from balls to spring ball. Uh, let's talk about it a little bit. The the boys are at it. There he is, old Billy Billy G wagon, uh, doing in some work, doing some drills. I, I was reading a little bit where he was really focused on the details with the wide receivers today. Brandon, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head to you first, man. Any thoughts or notes? What are you hearing from uh from old Gville and the practice going on right now? I mean, I'll I'll say this that I love Billy G. Like even when Nape came in, he was one of the few coaches that I was hoping would be retained. Obviously. He ended up bringing in Kerry Colbert, who I believe is better than Billy G, as Kerry Colbert, to me, is a top five wide receiver coach on the planet right now. So I, I will say that I'm glad that he brought in Kerry Colbert over Billy G. But Billy G, he's a fantastic developer of talent at receiver. And he's proven that every time he's been to Florida, because he's come and gone repeatedly. But uh, every time he's come to Florida, he's proven that. And even in these clips, just helping these guys work on their release, you're going to see a lot of press coverage. You play in the SEC. So helping them focus on release and specifically with those outside releases, it's huge. And it's it's a major benefit to have Billy G just on this staff again. Good stuff. Dave, what do we got, big guy? Yeah, man. Uh, if you haven't seen it, and speaking of Billy G, the, those uh, those videos of Andy Jean running routes is is a beautiful sight to see every time I, uh, I look at the uh, the Twitter feed and Nick Delatore or somebody is posting a video of spring practice. So that's something good to see. But uh, from what I hear, the uh, the spring notes, and I have to go ahead and give a, uh, a, a cheap hop for the uh, Gator Collective message boards. There is uh, certain people in there that do post the spring notes very detailed. I won't give you the detailed stuff, but if you want the detailed stuff, five more dollars a month, Gator Collective message boards, check them out. They do a really good job there. Bob Redman and a few other guys putting some info out there for you folks. But Caleb Douglas today, or day five, excuse me, I can't say it's today, I say day five, he actually had a long touchdown. You haven't really heard his name in practice that much. Long touchdown today. Aiden Mazzell, Ricky Persall both had receiving touchdowns. They said Aiden Mazzell actually had some good yards after the catch with that speed. Uh, mm. Montreal Johnson still making plays in practice. Had, a, uh, I think, a 30-yard run or a touchdown. Or something like that. And then uh, they've been mixing bodies around too there on the defensive line. Kelby Galton's getting some play there for some rest. And last but not least, Jakeem Jackson. You probably heard Corey Raymond rant and rave about him in the press conference because uh, Jakeem Jackson is a animal. He had another interception too in practice from uh, from the notes. But uh, the more detailed and the more notes you will find on the Gator Collective message boards. I love it. And something, I mean, with, with these guys coming in, I'm watching the clips here. Uh, Andy Jean's been, uh, Andy Jean's been a big name that we've been hearing about, obviously. But remind you, it's Aiden Mazzell. He's coming off an injury of last year. So he didn't play his senior yeah. year, I don't think, much at all. When we spoke to him a few times, he was healthy. He's ready to rock and roll. But it's still, you got to kind of, you're, 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 you're off a little bit. You haven't really worked out and you haven't exercised. So I would be shocked to see him on the field a lot this season. Uh, we'll see how much, how quickly he can get ramped up. These kids are young. They're, they're grinders. So I just, I know that he's got a little bit of a setback. It's not a shot or a knock by any stretch of imagination. If we were, if we see him pretty, pretty, you know, often shows he's got that dog in him. Okay. Uh, because, because of, I look, I mean, I, this wide receiver class is, is insane to me, right? I'm excited to see it with Xavier Henderson, Ricky Pearsall, Andy Jean's obviously balling, Caleb Douglas, all those. Arlos Birmingham, um, Jaquavion Frazier's, who was kind of my dark knight for last year. I feel like he's going to step up and be. I haven't heard much of his name. I will say we haven't heard much from him from spring practice. That doesn't mean, you know, anything negative. It's an older name. May kind of just be, you know, doing the same old, same old. We want to hear about these new names. That's kind of what comes out. So that's how that works anyways. But we do hear a lot about Henderson as well. But um, any, any updates on the on the quarterback room? Are we still kind of rocking and socking with, with the rotation, Dave? Yeah, we're still with the rotation. There wasn't really anything big coming from, uh, I guess, the quarterbacks this this go around. But I'll I'll say this: like a lot of things that you hear in spring practice and some of the notes, and even some of the things that you see on film. Maybe if a quarterback doesn't throw it uh, particularly accurate on one play, doesn't mean that they're doing that all the time. First of all, in practice. Second of all, there it, it's spring practice. They have so much more to go before they actually get to the regular season to work all those kinks out anyway. Uh, but as I said, some of the spring notes, you don't know which guys they're working up against either. So they could be playing with the ones, they could be playing with the twos, or it could be a mixture. Uh, and you hear all these players that I've interviewed in the past, they say that they're, they are they get everybody on the field now. They're Everybody's practicing. So uh, take that in, you know, in with also the grain of salt when you think about, like, oh, who is, you know, who is he up against, uh, this, that, and the other. If you hear anything good from practice, just, just keep it as good and don't think that anything is bad. And that's the thing about a screen, spring game, too, which is coming up. Is like 
if the offense does really good, then everybody's like, oh, what happened to our defense? Especially last year with the defense playing that it, the way that it did. But if you go and you look at a spring game, the defense plays really well, then you're thinking about the offense. Oh, it's the quarterback. So everybody, it, it depends on what type of person you are. You're glass half empty or glass half full. Because when you're playing yourself, there's going to be positives and negatives all over the field. Yeah, uh, we, we told that last time. It's like, who's sucking? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you just don't know. 